welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you a few more methods you can do to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare PC problems. This is part 3. If you haven't checked out part 1 and part 2 yet, I do recommend you check those two videos out first. The links are in the description below. And also jump on over to my new forum where you can discuss all about Call of Duty Modern Warfare and its problems on PC. Before we get started, don't forget to create a system restore point. To start off with, the first thing we want to do is open up File Explorer. And you now need to right click on this PC and go to properties. Once you're on properties, you now need to click on advanced system settings. And you now need to click on to settings underneath performance. And we now need to go across to advanced and we need to click on change underneath virtual memory. We now want to deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. And you now want to click on custom size. And we now want to change the maximum size to the recommended below. As you can see, currently allocated is 2432, but I'm actually going to bump that up to 2941. And for the initial size, I'm just going to go with 2941 as well. Let's just set it as that. And there we go. You can now go ahead and press OK. Just like I said, change both these boxes to the recommended size. That's absolutely fine. If it doesn't let you, then just try and change it to a size that will allow you. You can go ahead and press OK. And we now need to restart our PC for the effects to take place. Once your computer has restarted, the next thing you need to do is now load up Call of Duty and see if it works. If you are still having problems, then we now need to open up File Explorer again. And we now need to go to this PC and you need to right click on your C drive and go to Properties. And you now need to click on Tools and we need to click on Check underneath Error Check It. And you now need to go Scan Drive and this will scan our drive for any errors. If it does find any errors, then it will pop up and tell you how to fix those issues. I'm just going to go ahead and press cancel now because that will take a while for it to scan. And you need to do this on all your drives or especially on the drive that has Call of Duty installed on. Once you have done that and if it did find any errors or problems, then you need to fix those problems and then try and boot up Call of Duty again and see if it now works. If that didn't work, then the next thing I'd recommend is creating a new user account. And once you have created a new user account, log into Call of Duty and see if it works now. And also make sure you are always logged in as a administrator. If you are still having issues, then the next thing to do is open up the Battle.net app. And we now need to select Call of Duty Modern Warfare and then go to Options. You now need to click on Show in Explorer. And you now need to go into the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and scroll down until you find the .exes. We now need to right click on both .exes and go to Properties. And we now need to go to Compatibility. And we want to simply disable the full screen optimizations and press Apply and OK. You need to do this on the launcher as well. And once you have done that, you can now go ahead and boot up Call of Duty and see if that fixed your problems. If that didn't fix your problems or you are just struggling to boot up Call of Duty, it just keeps freezing, then I recommend you try reinstalling the Battle.net application. To do this, all you need to do is simply go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click and you need to go to apps and features. You now need to go to battle.net, simply search for it in the top and we now need to select battle.net and press uninstall. And you can press uninstall again and go through and uninstall battle.net and then once that has uninstalled, you can now go ahead and install the battle.net app again and then try and boot up Call of Duty again. If that didn't resolve any of the problems that you are having, then unfortunately for now, 
there isn't a fix for the issue that you are having and you will have to wait until Call of Duty do release new updates that resolve the issue. Always make sure Windows is completely up to date. The new version of Windows 10 is 1909. So I do recommend you download that version now if you haven't already. And also check to see if you have the latest graphics card drivers installed as this can also resolve a lot of problems when trying to play the game. The next issue we're going to be taking a look at is the mouse not working when trying to move around in game. As you can see, I am now in game and I am trying to move my mouse. I can move it left and right, but I can't look around. And this is an issue a few people have been having. To start off with, first you need to press escape and go to options. It does do this in multiplayer and in the campaign. And you now need to go onto graphics and you need to change the display mode from full screen to borderless full screen and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then changing it to windowed can also help the problem. If you still can't use your mouse, then the next thing to do is go to keyboard and mouse. And I noticed on my settings, it actually reset my mouse sensitivity. You can go ahead and press X on mouse sensitivity and it will change it back to the default sensitivity. And if you're still having problems, then the next thing to do, unfortunately, is simply press reset all key binds and reset tab to default. Do the reset tab to default first and see if that works. If that doesn't, then you're going to have to reset all key binds, unfortunately, and then you will have to do all your key binds again. But like I said, my issue was the mouse sensitivity got reset to nothing, 0.01, which meant I couldn't look around. And that is it. I hope this tutorial has helped and fixed some of those annoying problems that everyone is having and you are managing to play the game. Like I said at the start, don't forget to check out my forum and if any of the issues methods that I show you in this video didn't help and you do want to change it back to the original settings in Windows, just do everything in the video but in reverse. And that is it for this video. If this video did help, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.